Hello everybody, how are you going? Welcome back to some more CCAs, or if you do track another C in there, it can be Canada's Concerned Children's Advertisements, which are just snippets and commercials that are just helping parents out by discussing some more weird and wacky and difficult subjects. I'm not saying he's a loser or anything. He's a dork. Dork! Yeah. I mean, no, we're not like, you know, we're having fun being cool, and he's, uh, he's just into different stuff. Well, I hang out with my friends mostly. Girls think I'm cool. <laughs> but he's, you know, I'm into sports. Well, I used to be into sports. Now, well, uh, yeah, chicks dig me. Well, yeah, I guess he has friends too. I like, I think having girlfriends is okay, but you know. We, we like to party, right? Guys like him, they don't like to party. Like we do. Fair enough. You know, we're having a lot of fun. Right. The truth is, oh. there's a million things to do that are more fun than sitting around getting stoned. Yeah. Wow. We like to party. <laughs> Did I say that already? Yeah. Think there about we go. it. Man, right out of the gate, I'm just reminded of the fact, and it's honestly one of my favorite things about the CCAs, is the fact that they do not hold back. And some of them are more geared towards the younger audience, some of them are slightly older, some of them are even just towards the parents, but this one is very clearly targeted at this age group right here, and I'm honestly surprised that they went this young. I, I look too young in terms of what I would have expected, especially to be even kind of talking about these subjects. I would have expected them to go... Let's say these guys are 14, I would have expected them to go 16, just a couple of years older, but clearly they are trying to get in early and that could make such a huge, huge difference. And it's also an interesting approach that they took to have the four of them in the car and say, can you spot the losers? Meanwhile, they're just talking and I guess it's almost like a third person perspective jealousy like he's kind of playing it off as though oh yeah i used to play sports and i well i guess i might want a girlfriend but that's for the loser that isn't part of our friend group anymore maybe he never actually was but it just feels like he was going yeah i used to play sports and this guy clearly just continues to play sports and has a great time he has a girlfriend and he's i, I guess he's sadly jealous but then all the guys in the car are just playing it off cool because that's what you do. So like always, what does the description have for us? A slice of teen life, this spot shows teens using drugs comparing themselves to the loser who enjoys strong friendships, hobbies, and sports. Man, it truly is just that simple. The fact that these guys are too busy thinking that they're cool, just sitting around in a car, burping, picking his nose, doing all of those kind of things, absolutely having the chicks dig him, in his words. Meanwhile, but like I said, the other guy, he's just living his best life. And then I'm not sure if I'm reading into it too much, but it's just the way he delivers okay. this next line yeah, here. We love to party, party right? right? Like, he then goes on to repeat it again. It's almost like he's trying to convince himself. He, and like he said, did I say that already? It's almost like he forgot as well. But just trying to really go, right? Like, this is the correct thing, yeah, I, I'm not really that sure, but at least in the moment, it's the mindset that I've committed to. And so look, like I said, I love the fact that they didn't hold back, but I feel like they could have done a, just a slightly better job of showing them how they are so dissimilar. Like he, the other guy spent so little time in the limelight and you didn't really see much of these guys. Maybe if we actually saw them partying hard instead of sitting in the car, then you would have got a better idea about the differences in their relationships. You. You can choose. You can choose to be you alone. You can choose to be a choose friend. To be a friend. You, can choose. Choose. you can choose. You can choose. You can choose from 70 shades of blue. 70 shades. You can choose to ignore you. You, choose. you can choose to run wide. <laughs> one, one. You can choose. choose not to watch. You can choose to be the secret. To be shy. You can choose to believe. The dogs understand us. You can choose to be bored. You can choose to dream. Dream. I, I. You can choose. You can choose. Because you can. Wow. With a title like that, I didn't expect it to be as wishy-washy. Like, they covered all of the subjects of choosing your own adventure, really just like, taking control of your life and choosing to be bored, choosing to do this, choosing not to do that, whatever it is. It's almost like the last one. That was also a choice. And so I feel like this one, it doesn't have the same impact, perhaps, but I feel like it would be really, really memorable for people. Like, going, oh, yeah, choose, 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 because you say it over and over and over and over again in the same clip that it is. 
a very prominent word and so it's going to stick in people's minds. So as much as it may not be as effective from a visual standpoint, as it was just a massive turnover of clips, you can't really have much memory of it when it's just such a wash of everything, unless the dog or just one might stand out to you. But even so, just the repetitive nature of the choose really is almost not subliminal messaging, but it's really just trying to play in the Inception game and just inserting it into your brain from an early age. But this one feels almost older, than the previous one, or around the same age, where I feel like this one could definitely be younger than the last one. By a long shot, this one could be eight, and the last one could be double, let's say 16, like I said. It's a big difference, but it feels very, very similar. Even just the power of this opening line, just the black screen held, and then you yeah. just right there going, oh, what, what, you're talking to me? Like, it feels so personal, and it's so attention-grabbing, compared to the rest of them where it might be, oh, a car drives up and just dumps off a jumper onto a poor boy. Like, there's not really that instant not gratification but just instantly attention grabbing especially when they go on and then have tim to repeat the entire line you can choose and it just goes over and over and over again with a new frame oh man it i'm sure it was very very effective but like i said i just can't remember anything about it besides choose but i guess that's exactly what it is that's all you need to remember is that you can choose and you have the choice from a young age to an old age if you, and if you remember to do that or not do this, like you said, you can choose to not watch. You can choose to wear 50 shades of blue. I don't even know what that's about. Maybe that's about fitting in. Either way, you can choose. The road is long. Try to stop a friend from using drugs. You may not succeed, oh. but at least you tried, and that's oh. what friends are for. Oh. A message from Consumer Man. Children's Advertisers. Jeez, that one was clearly at an older audience. Or for God, I hope so. But that was tough. Even just the backing tune as well, which. I guess I have to just say goodbye to that. But my goodness, just the imagery that they showed here as well. Ah. Oh. That was brutal to go through. And at first it felt like it was going to be a happy one or maybe not a happy one because the title's Rehab, but realistically just I was going, oh, what's he in hospital for? And then for it to kind of be lurched upon us that it wasn't chosen by means of he chose to not do his shoulder rehab surgery at home. He chose it to do it at a hospital or all those kind of physiotherapy needs. No, this was very, very different. And then like they said at the end, to try to stop your friends from using drugs. And even if you're unsuccessful, at least you tried. Like, that's such a hard hitting message because oh, you can just feel the pain that that guy right here has been through. He's been with his friend from a time in the lakes to then in the middle of nowhere and then all the way through in the now, staring him down in the hospital corridor, just at the lowest point, or now hopefully past the lowest point because he has seen him at his lowest point and he tried to pull him out of there and never let him actually get to there, but he's still with him after the valley and that's just so painful because he just you tried but when you see your friend in a situation like this and it seems like he's all right now because he's talking about rehab but when you see him like this you'd be just be wondering going oh, should, should i've done more could i've done more what what did i involve this did i pander to the thoughts did i encourage it at all like could i have done anything different and that's the hard the brutal reality of it but at least you were still here when no one else seems to be visiting him, walking the corridor, hoping for anyone to show up. And then he, he has a moment where he goes, oh, I'm glad you're here. But man, was that a difficult process just to even be here. Like he feels so heartbroken. And I, I guess it's the, it's the song as well, is tugging on people's heartstrings. But man, that's a very, very, very good advertisement. Like I said, it is targeted to an older audience, but at least they capitalized on that. They could really target the nostalgia of some of these relationships that people have fostered since they were kids. In all these small towns or big cities, people do have long, long, long-term relationships that even when they're going away to college or whatever it may be, they can still hold on to them and just 
pull each other through a situation like this. It's beautiful and tragic. But then it's also a little bit ironic, at least in our context, because we've come full circle from the first one being loser and going, like I said, it felt like that was an ex-friend that chose his own path. And even though he didn't stop his other car full of kids just doing what they were doing, he chose his own path. And this feels like it's just a grown up version of that. Like they've just gone along and it progressed and progressed and progressed only so far. And that one guy was always there. Even though they were giving him shit, even though they were doing all of that, he would just comes back and meets him in the corridor when no one else does. And that is a true, true show of character, like nothing else is. You know, someone can go off and do their own thing and truly believe in what they're doing in a good way. Like he said, oh, you can go and get a girlfriend and have a strong relationships and foster all those things and still be there for the people they care about even along different paths. And that truly does feel like it's the raw power of the CCAs, to have these moments that are obviously standalone, little 30 second to minute clips, but also the fact that they can be interconnected. And I guess it's because it's stuck in my mind, but then you can choose. You can choose to be in the car or on the baseball pitch, or you can choose to be at one end of the corridor or the other. And so well done CCAs, well done. You certainly know how to write a classic hit.